Hi everyone, Harris here with iDownloadBlog and for the past year or so, face masks and face ID have not been very friendly with each other. Um, a lot of people are missing Touch ID from the iPhone SE because it's a pain in the butt to try to unlock your phone while you're wearing a mask. Uh, Apple did in a couple software updates ago at least allow you to quickly and more quickly get to the passcode settings. So as before when you're trying to unlock your phone using Face ID and you had a mask on, it would just keep saying it doesn't recognize your face or that it isn't scanning anything. Whereas now at least as I put on my face mask, uh, when you swipe up and it res recognizes a mask on your face, it allows you to just type in your passcode more quickly. But this isn't really a solution, it just basically turns off all biometrics altogether unless you want to pull down your face mask, which a lot of people end up doing. But now there's a feature in conjunction with the Apple Watch with the latest betas on both of these that allow you to unlock your iPhone automatically if you have your Apple Watch on and near you and you're wearing a face mask and you're trying to unlock your phone to get into it basically allows you to log on to your phone like you do your Mac using the Apple Watch or in a similar way how you can unlock your Apple Watch using your iPhone. So if we go into the settings you can see that I'm currently running the iOS 14.5 beta software on my iPhone 12 mini and then on the Apple Watch Series 5 I am running watchOS 7.4 which is also the beta and you kind of need these in conjunction with each other. So when you go into the settings on your phone and you go into face ID and passcode and you type in your passcode, there is now a new option for Apple Watch. So go ahead and turn this on. And now I'll put the Apple Watch on and then make sure it's unlocked with my face mask on. And it just worked. And with that, there was a little bit of vibration on the Apple Watch so I could tell what just happened. So we'll try that again. And you see right there, that little screen. Now when you do this, you also have the option to lock your iPhone in case that was an accident, but you only really get like a second to do it. So we'll try this again. And then I can lock the iPhone, oh, and it's gone. So you really have to be quick with that if you wanna lock your iPhone afterwards, lock iPhone. And then it just relocked the iPhone down there. Now you do have to be within close range to the Apple Watch, so let's see how far away this can be. So I moved about uh, six feet away from the watch and I just have the watch actually like strapped to a box, so it kind of emulates an arm and it tells me to move the watch closer. So you can be some distance away, like further than you normally would be from your watch, but not super far away. It's not perfect and it's not gonna be as safe because there just certainly are ways of getting around this if you're trying to get into someone's phone of course you need to know their watch passcode and be close to them and be wearing a mask so it's unlikely that this will be an issue but it is certainly a little bit less secure anyway that's about it for this video make sure you checked out the apple watch tip video that i just made i shared a pretty cool tip about automatically changing your watch face depending on the time of day using Siri shortcuts. Let me know your thoughts on this new feature and if you have any questions, you can leave those in the comment section below, but thanks for watching.